how we do this? We use this on him. Place the big Hellgag egg here. The Hellgag will eat it, of course. And we'll go oh, to sleep. Like a charm. <laughs> Don't worry, Maya. It is sleeping, as you can see. Quite universal sign. Now we put leeches on it that will take the blood we need to be an ink. Uh, and that's where the Hellgag usefulness. Hellgag usefulness is just. just ended. We're back in Scam Town with uh, the tattooed woman. Let's see what Selena has to say to her. What can I do for you? What kind of place is this? Uh, yeah, we already tattoo been here. Bar. Want one? Hmm, tattoo girls. Um, I heard about slave girls with full body tattoos used as tribute to the pirates. <laughs> I heard. <laughs> with Kira wants all of his girls to be made up like her. I just did one of them yesterday. She couldn't stand the pain. It's that bad? Right. Yeah, I could do painless temporary ones if I have the right ink. We I already have that. The blood of Swamp Helgak. Usually get the blood out with leeches after putting the Helgak to sleep. And you do that every day. Now I like the phrase I heard about because they usually it is usually used like, you know, I would like to ask her about something or him about something, but that might not be the best idea to, you know, you know, face to face ask, so I say something like, you know, uh, last day I heard about this man who thinks about, well, you know, he he was talking about someone when somewhere, and he heard a rumor that someone else, <laughs> you know, you get what I mean, Selena. The light angel Kira's tattoos guided the flow of her magical power. For this mm -hmm. reason, each of the chosen lords has a special pattern tattooed on his face to guide their core energy. Pretty cool. Ooh, really? Aaron. I had a tattoo on my right arm. What was it? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, he lost the arm, right? We know that. Okay, let's deal with this. Wow. Leeches with swamp Helgak blood. I could use this to make some great temporary tattoos. Ooh. You can have the blood if you use some of it to give me a full body tattoo, like the slave girls have. Oh. Doing some night work? <laughs> night to my business. Well, yeah. just come on back and we'll be done in no time. And that is the moment where Maya gets a full body tattoo. Oh, that wasn't so bad. The tattoos will go away in a few weeks. Yeah, we need them for something else. I think that Maya's ankle will not approve of that. Let's see what Aram and Selina has to say with these people, because in the last episode we had a different group here. Where can a guy get a tattoo around here? Uh, just look in the shops. Aha. Selina? Is it possible to book passage off this shell? This ain't no hmm. vacation spot. Well, it is not. Now, we haven't spoken the last time with this guy. What can you tell us? Who runs this place? Connor. <laughs> Connor. Leader of the biggest pirate gang on the shell. The, the problem with the shell is that I don't see any other pirate gangs here. There's only one base. But one pirate base and... Well, two, two pirate bases and... Actually, that means that there are two gangs, but... Pfft. Do the pirates still deal in slave girls? Hmm. <laughs> you bet. That's horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> Aram. The pirates that live here, do they work together? Uh, Lord, no. They're always fighting. Connor, the main yeah, leader, the man's tribute. The others, usually in the form of young women. Ah, it's getting boring. So everyone is talking about the same topics. Who is this Connor I hear about? Uh, Pirate gang leader. He runs the show from his island uh -huh. base. To get inside the uh -huh. base, you gotta fly in, cause the docking bay is under the water. Great. Why? Protection. <laughs> Pirates like to protect their horde. What kind of horde? Oh, chosen. Have you seen any chosen ships? 
Huh. Everybody's still talking about the recent battle. Something crashed outside of town. Well, we the crushed there. <laughs> we crushed there. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, one more guy here. Oh, you. Maybe. He's Selena. Oh. Not very productive, is it? Don't I know you? Hope not. I don't want to be recognized, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and the last guy here. He might have something interesting to say. Or the same, like everyone. You know, pirate leaders, Connor, he leads the pirates, he takes tribute, slave girls, blah blah blah. Yeah. Am I right? I'm Maya, and these are my companions. Welcome to Scum Town. Hmm. Welcome from a pirate. Is Connor still the old bastard I know? <laughs> You've had dealings with him, huh? Hmm. A few. You had intriguing. A pirate town. I've heard of this place. You're hmm. chosen, aren't you? Uh, how come you don't have any facial tattoos? Ooh. That's a sign of lordship. I am... was a general, not a lord. Hey, look, if you want a tattoo, you know there's a place in town you can get one. Well, that was more productive. The pirates must be ecstatic the Janaman and Kara are gone. I mentioned well, that. those two countries are the only thing holding them back. Who knows what they're gonna do now. Well, they will move to another shell. I can already tell you that. Okay, we have a slave girl. Maya is looking like a slave girl. Uh, which will be actually, let's see... Can we go the shipping docks? Uh, no, we won't get here. Alright. As I said, back to Lobo, and we will tell him that we have a full body tattoo. I don't have a tattoo. I don't because... Uh, not my type of... expressing myself. <laughs> Maya, I've Maya. Got disguise, slave girl tattoos. You gonna use them to get inside Connor's base? I'll get your crew back mm -hmm. and then we get off the shell. Deal? Hot damn. Hot damn. Okay, here's a key to the shipport scum town. Mm -hmm. Get you onto the right ship. Take this flare gun. When you get inside the base, find a back door for us to get in. Fire it in the air and I'll fly to you. Got it? Yeah. Cool. We'll stash your weapons and equipment in some shipping crates, so make sure that you find them as soon as you get inside. Now, choose who else besides mm -hmm, me that you mm -hmm. want me to bring along. And that's the the, the, the... the party that we'll have. I usually took, I think... I don't remember who I took. Uh, let's go with Kogan. He has a bunch of life. And he has better strike than Selena. Armor, still better. Yeah, Kim. Uh, and that's the that's the full party. The first time you see the full party, as you can see, Lobo is fine when level twenty. He's a nice guy. Uh, I'm not sure if Corgan will be in the next in this session of the recording because I will load. But never mind that. Good luck. Thanks. Yeah. Good luck. Now Lobo will go back. Actually, it's, it, it is logical that we need the crew to fly <laughs> such a big ship. On the other hand, Lobo landed it here on his own, but, you know... Who knows? Now, back to the scum town. Again! Here we are, this time... Ooh! Uh, I have a different group now. The thing is, Corgan and Selina, you don't really want to have them. They are, you know, Maya, Corgan, and Selina are very good, very great uh, group, but the problem with that group is, uh, you know, Kogan and Selena they fight each other. Uh, there is, by the way, you will see how this can be resolved quite easily. Now we have the flare, we have the docking key, now for you we have to give you this, shipping manifest of course. Everything looks to be in order, you may pass. Can we ask you anything is more? Is this one of the pirate docks? Yes, the ships are leaving with tribute to his lordship, Connor. Lordship. Nice. We open this, of course, with the key. And we leave. Now... Uh, now we will meet that slave girl that Maya will... 
Uh, no, first she will change her looks. Now that's hot. Let's go. And a full body tattoo, as you can see. No, uh. <laughs> now that's two. <laughs> Aren't you a little short to be a slave girl? <laughs> yeah, go. I'll signal you when I find uh -huh. way in. So see you guys, and you heard. You, aren't you a little short for slave girls? I think that's the reference for Star Wars again. I already had that reference in Dragon Age. All hands prepare for docking. Uh huh. Now that now, now that that's not a big group of slave girls. We have only one slave girl here. Not a big tribute, but never mind. Uh huh. Of course, we land in the base. We meet Connor. Ah, a fine tribute this month. Find her the cure of herself. Take her to my chambers and prepare her for me. Now, how is it possible to not think that Maya is hot when everyone around just tells that, you know, she's hot? Oh, better than Kira herself, blah blah blah. Because I think she is hot when it comes to personality at least. And the looks probably, yeah, you know. Uh, I think <laughs> hero girls in games, they usually don't look. They usually don't look uh, awful, fat, etc. They are hot because it's the ideal, right? Of course, in the crate we have Maya's stuff. It's all of my equipment. <laughs> uh, convenient, isn't it? And we're back to typical Maya. And we fight this guy. With Maya herself. Uh -huh, uh huh, grenade, let's see, maybe we'll eliminate him quite easily, yeah. And of course this is the pirate base. Uh, where are the pirate base? Uh, we have here another guy to be killed. And fine, fine, let's focus on killing the guy. Uh, yep. See ya, that should deal with you. As you can see, there are not problem creating. Can't open this, there are people there because we don't have the key. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. And you can see quite clearly that the, the guys in the cell are, of course, Lobo people. People, Lobo, Lobo people. Uh, his crow, of course. Oh, now, come on. Ah, he stole money from me, and of course I won't get that money back, but never mind it. Never mind that, sorry. He's dead. Now the problem is that we can't open this. It's locked. So we have to find a place where we can use the flare. Let's jump to that. Here we are, the base looks quite the same as the traditional base, the base in the mountains. But we this go looks here. Like a secret entrance. Mm, I should signal Lobo. Yes, we will signal Lobo. How to do it? We use the flare, and we can use it quite literally everywhere here, <laughs> besides the places where we stand. Now mm, we'll see you in this load who I decided to come with us. Woohoo! That was nice looking. Now Lobo's ship is coming. How they... No, that, that's an that's interesting thing. How they were able... How he was able to fly so close to this place. <sighs> Never mind. Uh -huh. And here we have... Jumping out of the plane, Lobo and Corbin. Oh, I choose Corbin. I always choose Corbin. <laughs> uh, 
And here we have Lobo. You can see him. Rifle. He can also have the napalm, grenade, heavy spire, blah blah blah, stuff like that. Uh, and of course, we have to end this by fight. Oh yeah! First of all, things are changing in the game here. These things are not only uh, doors, but they are also bridges uh, at some places. You see, there are also machines here. Uh, but let's jump to the fight with the uh, main villain, Connor himself. Right here. By the way, there is also loot here. Uh, Korun. Nice. Let's see what Connor has to say to Lobo and to us. Plus, there will be funny situation with Maya. Lobo, it's about time. Are you finally ready to join us? I see you brought some friends to replace your father. Aren't you one of my slaves? <laughs> I'll never forgive you for the death of my father. <laughs> Lobo, Lobo, a robot has no family. I did. Not anymore. Ah, <sighs> it seems that's how it works. Now fighting with him is a, a little scripted battle. You have to attack those little things there because they deal great amount of damage to Connor himself. Oh, come on, Maya. Plus he's and he's ooh, he missed. Nice, because he uh, he's a boss, which means that battle is a little problematic. After 3 they change the direction of course and they will attack him. There's no point in attacking them with more powerful things because you don't deal damage to them. You won't deal damage also to Connor himself. As you can see he deals 30 damage. But you can see how this works. Oh great, this was changed. <laughs> And that's how this battle looks like. You can try attacking him, but that will not deal much damage. You see? Even the thing is, there's no point in. Oh! And they change the direction back at some point. So we'll deal with those. Maya will attack this one. Because that will. We have to focus on this one. Uh, the problem with those battles is that some of these boss battles, they are... A uh, little, you know... Crap, that was a hard one. Uh, and yeah. It, come on, tell me. You don't have to tell me. I know, I will speed this battle at the moment. And yeah, that's how the battle ends. We have the Blessed Fate card, and Connor escapes. Away. Just let him go. We still have to save your crew. Do we? Oh yes, that's that's why we're here. He dropped it. Great. You see, poof, boss battles. Here we are. Mm, let's open this. It's locked. Oh, is it? Oh, my mistake. Use the keys, damn it. Only three guys. Interesting. Come on, come on, 
we haven't much time. Head to the ship. Tell them we're right behind you. That's what we wanted to do. Come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. So, we go, of course, to... Uh, no, 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 no. Yep. Can we move it? Yep. Yeah, we can leave. Uh, we have to get ourselves to the... Uh, to... Wait a second, where was it exactly? Ah, now I remember. Not here, up oh, here... Huh? Here... You can, and you can generally outmaneuver the... No, wait. Crap. A battle. Right. It's here. Made a little mistake there, but let's get out of here. The ship is on its way. How do you know? Oh. Lobo, do you have sort of a wireless connection to your own ship? And now, uh, this, this is the moment where everything changes back, get us out of here. because Maya and his people we have a ship now mm -hmm. hey what are you doing I'm looking at the genome restraining chips in here you never figured out how to get rid of them huh my father destroyed mine but never showed me how and no problem <laughs> here we go sorry he's a mechanic oh, I'm free amazing is it? We think your ship is amazing. We could certainly use someone like you. Hmm. My ship and I are both at your disposal. See, but. I told you he was an honorable sort. Wait a minute. These things killed my people. They're monsters. They aren't anymore, Led. They're free now. I won't work with it. And don't mm -hmm. come to me when it goes berserk and kills us all. Maya, we must right. go to the upper layer and seek out Gunnar and the Emperor. Do you mm -hmm. believe Gunner escaped the Battle of the Lenses? She's just interested in finding her beloved Dascius. Yeah, conflict the still. is the only one who can help us. Wind City needs our help. We should go to Shell 3 and help free my people. Right. Mm -hmm. Great. You just want to return to your sweet Layla. Oh, come on. Please, quiet. Without the Chosen to stand against Dascius, we'll never liberate Wind City. We will follow where you lead, Maya. Hmm. <laughs> That's possible. And here we have it. A uh, ship. We can fly around. Woohoo! Hooray! Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably visit all of the places because before you. Um, you know, before you. Uh, before you. Go to the upper level shell, you can go it here. Shell 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, for example, you can go to shell 2. Finally, going back to home. Um, so it's a good idea to, you know, prepare, have a la have a sort of a trip uh, between the world shells. Uh, before you go to the first shell, and there you continue the story. Um, first of all, we have quite a certain. We, we can, we, you can be certain that there are two conflicts between Lad and Lobo, between Corgan and Selena. Uh, resolving these two is also an important element, uh, and I will probably try do it to do it in the next recording. Now the problem is, uh, in the next uh, two episodes maybe I will rush into a wall. This wall is a very big and extremely time-consuming labyrinth, you know, a dungeon called uh, the Emperor Palace. And the problem is, I have no saves past that point, which means uh, this project will probably drag a little in time after two or three next episodes, because uh, I would like to finish this. Uh, I, would like, I have to go through that big dungeon uh, to jump it. For you, it'll be a second for me, like a month of going around fighting tons of tons of Chosen. 
uh, people, but I'm determined to finish this. So my name is Gabriel, G99 here, uh, Laughing During the Gaming, that's the channel. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy uh, Subterra Story Mode. See ya, bye, and have a pleasant day.